Sorry. I see some headless dudes that I gotta go murder. Hi. We're the beer bros. Yes. These are good. Let's call these guys dry bones. <laughs> sure. But wouldn't the skeletons be dry bones? Okay. Okay, that's fair. These guys are called head bones. Got them. Boneheads. Welcome yeah, to it, y'all. They're, they're Goombas. Bo they're they're boneheads. Maybe Goombas? They're boneheads. Do you I'm get it? I'm insulting them. Yeah, we're still playing Elden Ring. Is this like a place that we're leading to? Like, is this like these guys, these ghosts form a trail to this church? I, they always pop up around the walking mausoleums. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder what the vibe is. I'm sure Vati Video knows. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people that are like, you see. The bell ringing reminds them of having a head, bro. I got that fourth church America. Where at least I got a church. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Ooh. Didn't we get one of those recently, too? We did, yeah. We, we, we ended up... As a matter of fact, let me look at the map. It's pretty fucking close, right? Fourth church. Third church was here, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a church pilgrimage. Sorry. But didn't we get a... We did. For, from something? It was there. It was at that church. Oh, okay. We got yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we already went down here... We went in that little green? We did not go in the green. I guess we should go in the green. But we could take the beach. What do you think? Take the beach around? Oh, that's actually traversable. Yes. Yeah, might as well, right? Want to take the beach? Yeah, let's beach. All right. That's how I feel when we're, like, driving to the valley. It's like, you can drive on the freeway, or you can, like, waste a bunch of time, but you're in Malibu. Yeah, I want that view. You yeah, know what I mean? I'll take it. I'll sit in that fucking traffic. I want to see the Barbenheimer houses. From that meme. Oh, shit. Do you guys give celebrity to objects from memes? Like, if you saw a funny sign that you recognize from the internet, would you be like, Oh my god! Are you asking, like, the viewers? Is that question of the day? It's just, you know, it's just asking the room. Whoever's here. You guys, whoever's listening at home. Anyone within earshot. <laughs> Not me, sorry. I'm like that guy out front of the coffee shop who just shh sits at your table for a sec. Oh my god. You know what I'm talking about? How's it going? Yeah. Then they realize the vibe is not right, so they just kind of head out. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? <laughs> no, I could kill all of these zombies. Do you get anything? No. There's just a lot of them, so I don't feel like it. So like, I, I don't think I will. I I feel like we all know you could. <laughs> Thanks. That's what's most important. Yeah. Is that you guys recognize that I have the power. I do... I do want to see what happens if you butt slam into the middle of them, but that's just my own. Merry Christmas, Alex. This looks like a death stranding hey. beach. Ooh, it's satisfying to me. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Pretty good. That was great. I loved every moment of that. They're like, God damn it, Mario! Why? Why? Uh oh, what's up, dude? Hey. It's so funny how slow they are. And the fucking skeletons. Could you imagine if a horse trampled a crab? It Ugh. would sound It probably horrifying. it probably happens like so much, but it's like just visually so gnarly. It feels like when you're playing Lego Lego games and you and you hit somebody and they turn all the way into Lego bricks, that's how it would sound. Ah! Yeah, like that's how that's how I think it would sound. And it's like a bunch of it's uh -oh. like it's uh -oh. like a cracking sound and also the sound of a bunch of Legos being dropped on the floor at the same time. Mm. The funniest response to the Lego talk we had earlier, mm. yeah, to me was people that said, "The plural of Lego is Lego." Were we saying Legos? Yeah. <laughs> Get bent. <laughs> <laughs> how how could how could they know what we're talking about if we don't refer to it properly? Exactly. I there don't know be, if that could, argument holds any water. That could, being said... There could be some mistake. I don't think there's anything wrong with like being like, actually, the plural of Lego is Lego. It's but to like, to in the comments, be like, I have to... I have That's to what I'm them. saying. Like, what, like, like what, are you, what are you communicating to me by telling me this? That it bothered you? That was a big thing Brett said recently that I've been stewing over. Chewing The on. Lego thing? No, uh... Were you one of the ones that made the cut? No, 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 no. Was like, no, way just... before this, like, not not related to this. Okay, uh, okay. You didn't mean stewing over. You meant 
noodling in your brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's noodling, sorry, yeah. That you said, uh, you were just talking about something else, and you were like, what am I trying to accomplish if I blank? Yes! And I started just thinking about that before I say everything now. That's how I run my fucking life! It's useful. It's or very I go useful. like, what, what is my goal? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Imagine there was an edge that, that and, and you had to jump off of it, but you didn't know where you were going to land. Oh! You could look. Yeah. Oh! Listen. I'm not feeling too hot. And I'm poisoned. All right, hold on. Well, that's just kind of like a badge of honor at this point in, in, oh. in, this, in this type of game. What did you get it from? Is it just the water itself? It's, it, the water is stay. Look at the map, brother. Oh, it I, is stanky in here. I thought maybe it was just like, <laughs> like ecto. You know, like thought it was like uh, a cool, like orange flavor. Oh, who? Oh, actually, it's pronounced Lego. <laughs> <laughs> All of them at once. <laughs> <laughs> that face right there in the middle. Ah, uh, the plural is the singular! I've come from Reddit to tell you! <laughs> Real talk, guys. It's okay if you guys are passionate about shit. I'm passionate about shit. The other, the other uh, fun comment that's gonna come after this is like, What the f- Ah, it was me who was the one who had wrote that comment. I hope not to have insulted you in some way, my good gentleman, as I enjoy your comment. Your content very well, very well. No insult. You're good, baby. You're good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, if this was real and you really were all our friends and not just weird parasocial friends, we would be clowning on you just the same way. That's how we teach ourselves about each other in the male world of the social male world. The male, male, male. Uh, social hierarchy is we, uh, we, 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 we needle each other. I do. I do love to be corrected, but I will still say Legos. Just FYI. I don't think there's anything wrong with correcting someone. I'm not mad about the correction. I, yeah. I, I, it's just... I'm not. I don't correct people 100% of the time. Yeah. I pick my battles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me to go like... Let me comment on this video real quick. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that never fucking happened. And That's like, exactly I understand... It. That's exactly That like, every, everybody has a different... Everybody has different thresholds. I'm just saying like, that. if that's your threshold, or you're like, I have to let these motherfuckers know that they're saying it wrong in the YouTube comment. I'm like, bro... I'm not talking about you guys who watch our show. I'm talking about anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I see comments everywhere that are like, why did you yeah, write this? Yeah, this isn't about correcting us on Lego. It's just like, so far, like today, I wrote a comment, perhaps unwisely. Oh! Oh, wait. Ooh. Can you hold your thought? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got excited too. Don't worry. I know exactly what's about to happen here. Hey. Hey. Oh, what's up, girl? <laughs> uh, what is that smell? Are you? Oh, yeah. That's freaky. That wouldn't that be terrifying? If because we met her ages ago in like proper limb grave. Yep. Remember? Mm hmm. But wouldn't that be terrifying if you met someone and a little bit later you like met like came across the same person chained up in a in like thrall of something like right? And they've clearly been there for ages. Yeah. You're like, oh, who did I like? Yeah. What the hell was I just doing? I was. Uh, playing Fallout 4 ages ago when it first came out. I never beat the game. I never even got very far, but I was enjoying it a little bit. Say right? Fallout 4? Yeah, Fallout. Yeah. And there's that guy that's like, hey, a settlement needs your help. Black guy in the fucking hat. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you see him all the time walking around the game. Right. I, like, ventured out of my play area for the first time. Like, like, all right, let me go explore some areas I've never been before. I venture out, and then I see that dude in the distance. And I'm like, oh, what's up, homie? Like, you're pretty far from, like, the settlement spot where we usually stay. And I get close, and it's like someone, oh, just looks like him. I'm like, oh, it's 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 just uh, another NPC that kind of looks like him. Right. And then I get to him, and he's like, hey, my name is such and such. And he claims to be the guy. Yeah. And we're in Fallout's a world where there are, like, robots pretending to be people. It's like Reploid shit. Right, exactly. Or a replicant, rather. Yeah, like Blade Runner. Yeah. Right. And then... He said that, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> and he was like, what's up? Do you want to help? And I'm like, yeah. yes. <laughs> and then as soon as he turned around, I murdered that motherfucker. That's, that's, that's <laughs> it was terrifying. That's 100% Batman. What do you mean? What do you mean? Being like, yes. Oh, yeah. Why would I say no yeah, to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I saw somebody, like, if, if somebody introduced themselves like, hi, my name's Ted Coonrat, and they kind of look like Ted a little bit. I'd be like. Oh, 
Oh, like, if someone looked just like me and said they were Ted Coonrod, I'd be, we're like, okay. Maybe his name's Ted Coonrod, yeah. Right. If someone looked just like Ted, and we're like, my name's Ted. What time are we like, going to record, man? I Right, and I'd be like, uh, let me get back to you on that, okay? And then I'd immediately <laughs> call the police. What? Was I? Was it on this show where I was just talking about how much I dislike doppelgangers? Like, they freak you out? They scare the shit. It's it, freaky, You know what? Yeah. It was on Chiluminati because it was a story of a guy on Reddit talking about he saw himself. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Let me in. Wait, he was outside? Yeah. Fucking and then he saw and then he saw terrifying. himself. He said, "I saw myself in the woods like f- like up 3 months earlier I thought f- just standing completely frozen like a statue." Terrifying. I was that guy for somebody. I'm sorry. What do you mean? I was in a Target and I was just walking down the aisle. Okay. And this Getting this kid was talking to his mom and his mom was sitting faced away from me towards him. And he just stopped dead in his conversation and, like, s- laser focused on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And his his mom was like, what the hell? And, like, looked around and looked at me. And I just kept walking because I was like, uh, uh, right. I, I don't know what's happening. And then he was like, I just, he looks so much like someone I knew. It happens to me every once in a while. I was at your play. And I was like. Oh, yeah. I was like, I think I know you. And I didn't. Mm. Somebody in the cast. Uh. Do you not want to buy that stone sword key? We got, we already got. Three we got plenty. Profile. Okay. I do want to put this here. This is going to be important for us. Got a little lantern for when things get too dark. Oh, that's 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 hype actually. I'll put it on right now. Check it out. Get it, get it, get it. I got uh, doppelganger stories. One of them is like pretty sad, and one of them is pretty funny. Which one do you do you want to hear? Either both. Like, what do you? Let's end hear? with the funny one to to cleanse our palates. Uh, yeah, right after both. my grandma died, and I was a fucking wreck for a long time. Uh, me and Lisa, this was like two days after. Right. And she wanted to make me feel better. We were rocked up to the Baskin Robbins near our house. Sitting in the basket, we went inside. Sitting in the Baskin Robbins in one of the little chairs was like a older black lady who was like real, like from like behind into the side looked a lot like her like spookily so oh. <clears throat> not spooky no like it was clearly not her okay right? okay okay and it was also probably because i was like extremely distraught yeah it's on the mind right i'm fucked up i'm real f- emotionally fucked up right and like i start bawling right there and i i have this urge to just ask her like explain the situation and like can i hug you yeah I really, and she looked like she, there was a good chance she would have been like, sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. And so I was. I didn't do it. I didn't tell her anything. I didn't say anything. But it was a. It was just. It was fucked up, man. Like, uh, uh, it was fucked up to witness at that moment. And um, yeah, it wasn't even that she looked that much like her. She looked a, a lot like. It was her. just the essence of. Yeah, and I've never been. I'm, you know, I'm not that guy. I've never been more compelled in my life to be like, I need to like embrace and touch this stranger. Yeah, it's crazy. I hated it. Yeah. I hate. I hated that urge. Yeah. Insane. But I think if I would have gotten it, I would have felt really good. Yeah. Like, probably. Uh, you ready for the one that's not so fucking sad? Yeah. Uh, Whoa. Dude. I was in San Francisco about ten years ago. And we went to uh, like a little restaurant <coughs> over there on the pier. Yeah. Where they did like the you know the bread bowl, the the chowder. Yep. You know what I mean? Sitting in a, there was a crowded restaurant. Sitting across the restaurant with her back to like the wall, I spied a lady, and I'm like, oh my god, this lady looks is a dead fucking ringer for Andy Crocker. Oh great. And Lisa's with me. A lady, a lady, me and Alex know. Yeah. And she's like, no way. And she looks like that's crazy. So much so. A very distinct, like, like somebody who's very, like, stylish, has, like, a very, like, strong look. After this episode, I'm going to try and find the picture for you. You took I a picture s- of Andy Crocker? I snuck a picture of her from across, yeah. like, it's super zoomed. So I'm, like, being a fucking creepo, dude. Just fully in <laughs> awe of this doppelganger, yeah. Just trying, like, as she's sitting there eating her food all peacefully, dude. Yeah. I'm such a goddamn creep. And I'm sitting there, like, trying to snap a picture. It's a bad look. Uh, but I got it. Not only that, I was like, this, like, like the one about my grandma. 
like you said, essence of. Didn't yeah. really look like her just a little bit. This like this lady was. could have been a twin. <laughs> so much so that I went up to her. Oh my I was God. like, I'm so sorry to bother you. You don't know me, but I have to show you that you look so much like a, a, like a friend of mine. And I showed her the picture, and even she was like, oh, wow. That is all I Yo. ever want. That is so satisfying to me. Right. That never happens when I do that. They're always like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you've shown doppelgangers you found in the wild, you've shown them the picture of the person they look like? A couple times, yeah. And their response is usually like, okay. Ha, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel no, man. Away from it. And nothing makes me feel crazier than that exact situation. Because it, it is a little crazy. I mean, and you know it's a little crazy. I, look, I get that, like, in this world of, like, why is anybody talking to me for any reason right. that it's crazy? Right. But it's not that crazy. Like, if I was in a sure. bar and that mm. happened, I wouldn't be like, what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's not that it's crazy. It's that it's, you might be a potentially crazy it's extremely, person. It's extremely forward and, like, a pretty, like, Hey, like, you have an aura kind yeah, of vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, where is this leading? Also, yeah, what are you trying to accomplish? Yeah, yeah, like, what do you, what is the ulterior motive here? Uh, but after this episode, remind me, I'll try and show you that picture. The answer is exactly what Brett said. That is the most satisfying thing, is them being like, Oh my God, that looks just like me. You're right. It only happened once. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. And and speaking of things that we're very thankful for, we just want to thank you I didn't for heading on over that. to Patreon. I thought I thought you were going to say. And speaking of things that are satisfying, that's what I was betting on. That's too. That's too insincere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're right. Patreon.com. Slash Super Beard Bros is the basic reason for the season at this point. We don't, we you know, we don't care about SEO. We don't care about metrics or numbers or YouTube or anything like that. We're full punk rock now. If you want to support us, and you can help everybody out who wants to watch us, it's ten bucks a month. You get every single thing that we put out thirty days early and our entire archive of content. And we're going to be doing mini series soon with guests and other crazy things. Perhaps some things that maybe you wished were around that aren't. You know, whatever we can do. What the fuck did that last part mean? That's right. That's what I want him thinking. Uh, we'll see you guys That's next right. time with more about Super Beard Bros uh, on Patreon. But for now, back to the What the game. fuck? Yeah, you sound like you're in an episode, too. Yeah, we'll see, see you later, guys. You went on a Thanks trip. This is it. We're out. <laughs> this is it. This is the end of the episode right now. We're wrapping up. <laughs> not even. Not We're wrapping even. up right now. 17 minutes in. <laughs> the other announcement is now episodes 15 minutes. <laughs> fuck. So I almost died right there. I actually love this enemy for some reason. I don't know why they're so dumb and they kill me so much for dumb reasons. Even more than the crabs, but I love them. I love not like knocking their little hands off. I love everything about them. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, what the? Fuck? Remember those like snake bundles in uh, Bloodborne? Yeah, same absolutely. vibe. Same yeah. vibe. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just wait till we get to Lyrnia. I cannot believe how badly you are just inside this man's life. His afterlife, more like it. <laughs> Where are your children at? There's one in the swamp over there. I saw him. Could you imagine if someone beat you to death? Where are your children at? And that's the last the thing you last. heard them say to oh. you. Oh. Hor hor horrifying. Two sentence horror stories on Reddit right there. <laughs> As the light leaves your eyes, you hear your killer say, Where are your children at? <laughs> I don't know why. Like, where are those fucking kills. kids at now? I don't know why it's Hank Hill. <laughs> oh, where are your children? He puts like a, like, like, gothic sword deep into your chest, and you're like, oh, and he's like, where are your children? Where oh my god! Pooping? Oh, terrifying. Come here, stupid. They're called octopus, Dad. <laughs> that was so not what's, bad. It's impossible to not do a good Bobby, dude. The plural of uh, what's well, because I'm not Pamela Adlon. Yeah, it's impossible. She has like. like one of the most iconic voices in American culture, and like nobody knows. Who has the most iconic voice in American culture? Period. <sighs> it might be Michael Jackson. That's like uh, very. That's like very like in the right wheelhouse. I'm sorry. Did we go? Are we talking about currently amongst people today or biggest ever in American history? I guess I was just going in American history, but uh Michael Jackson still is a good answer for today. Yeah. Right, because like everybody can do his impression. Like Walken, uh Michael Walken's, Jackson. Yeah. Walken's kinda like Not bad. over. Like he's kinda like only old people know who he is. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Dude, okay. people don't even know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is. 
Bullshit. Dude, I literally saw... Uh, oh, a, we were up here. I literally saw a TikTok of like a teacher being like, which one of you knows who Arnold Schwarzenegger is? There's like one kid in the class raises his hand. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. So I guess a real talk, real talk. I just want to make sure we, we were up here. We fucked with those bats. That's when we did all this. So I guess we did everything here, except in for that this. little zone. What is that? Is those are, those are the graves we plundered. Those I think the graves, and we just have to go to this tower. Yeah, and then we've done this whole west coast of Australia. The butt cheek is done. Wow, nice. What is so bad? No. I love this little area. I love Limgrave in general. They said the DLC. By the way, mm -hmm. DLC announced now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. We were just talking about that. I, I mean, I was just watching the episode on YouTube, which we recorded sometime before that. But we were like, I bet you it's going to come out. This series just got even longer somehow. It feels like it's going to. we're definitely still going to be playing this in June. Oh, my God. Dude, easily. And you know what's crazy is he's like, it's bigger than Limgrave a little. Yeah, here's the thing. I didn't. I Look, I know we're all translating and going off of, you know, hearsay bullshit. Mm -hmm. I read, I did not read It's Bigger, It's a Little Bigger Than Limgrave. And this is probably just me, you know. Tempering your expectation? No, the opposite. I think oh. I'm just hyping myself up a little bit. Okay. He said it's bigger than Limgrave. And technically, the whole game is bigger than Limgrave. You know what I mean? Like, right. All I'm saying is, I'm hoping he's being, I'm hoping that it is significantly bigger than Limgrave. Because that is technically bigger than Limgrave. In my I mean? mind, like, what it takes to design more of this game in size and, like, discoverable things and fun fights versus what it takes to des design a bunch of, like, dungeony, twisty Dark Souls, I feel like the idea of it being huge is not crazy. You know what I mean? And this game was, like, if I'm not mistaken, like, by far the biggest hit of the series. Is that right? Uh, it, probably, yeah. I think so, too. I think it's. I think this is like the one that finally, even more than Dark Souls One when that came out, finally broke through to like the people who aren't like that's hard. As a big fan of this game, I hope the DLC is as massive as possible because I just love this game. I'm looking for some hardcore fights that I You'll don't get that I don't win right away. You'll get them. Yeah, because the thing that always happens with these uh, with these uh, DLCs is that I'm like. A little too over leveled by the time they're out, and then I'm like too strong. I I'm should I should probably strong. start a new file next time there's DLC. But I probably won't do that with Elden Ring because I didn't beat Elden Ring. You gonna do it one day? Beat it? Yeah. Or is this gonna scratch that itch? I don't know. Like sometimes that happened. Like man, like when we played Final Fantasy 15 on the show, I like was playing it, and then we just like sped through the plot and did everything, and I was like, meh. Hmm. But other games, like, I get so hype and I want to play them. Like, I forget what we did. Oh, Onimusha. Mm. I, like, once we did Onimusha, we we ran credits. I beat it again, like, within 18 hours. So do you think you're going to play this again ever? I felt the urge already, what? like, several times. Because, like, it's on my PlayStation now, too. So it's, like, right in my face, ready to go. And I keep trying to play Cyberpunk because I want to finally finish oh. it. Oh! oh! What a surprise. Quel surprise. I keep trying to finish Cyberpunk, but then I'm like, perhaps an Elden Ring, shall I see? <laughs> oh, oh, this right. is that one that's like, you can't go down here. No. <sighs> okay. But there is a guy up there, no? Yeah, there is. Can you can you smack this guy? I can smack him, but he's going to smack the shit out of oh, me. Oh, but there is, a, there is a guy right here. So it's not so bad. Can he come through the door? I don't know. Yeah, this guy is kind of buff. He's like a super one. If I remember correctly, but there is a path past him. If I re if I remember, let's go check it out. Oh, he's a super one. <laughs> you know the super one. When you're gonna be a time for golem? It's like we know maybe twenty percent of the words to my Sharona. <laughs> oh my little pretty ah! Oh my little PS one. My PS one. <laughs> when you boot yourself, it's like mine. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about this, bro. He's fine. That rate is not great. He's fine. I'll get you, bitch. One day. Yeah, we don't. We don't need to be teleported. We have end game build, but we're just you know, we're taking it easy, man. Uh, did you add, did you add the tears? Hold on. Which one? We already the into the the physic. Yeah. We did already I, have stuff in the physic. The stuff we want. No, no, no. The uh the sacred tears. Did you already boost your 
heals or whatever it does. What are you asking? The sacred tears that you get, aren't they the, the flask beginners? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. couldn't remember if you did or not. So I put a mark on the map for this guy, so we'll eventually come back and kill his ass one day. But as you can see, this shit is quite a ways away. Yeah. But next time on Beard Rose, I think... Yeah, we done God, Limgrave is... This. Zoom out again? That's Limgrave. Some people don't count the Weeping Peninsula as Limgrave. I do. It fucking is. Look at the fucking ground. Uh. Next time... Did... Did we go down there? I don't think we... Yeah, we didn't. Because everything past this wall, we didn't do. So, like, we're Oh, gonna, that's the... That's the... That's the 40 fort. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna go fuck around this area. We're gonna go time. to the 40 fort. We're slowly making our way towards Castle Morn, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're getting there. Hell yeah. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love that. Bye. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, love you, bye. Can't love you, bye. <laughs>